Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, the Mad Tiger. I'm up here today with a um, DVD or well, Blu-ray 4K box set review. I probably did an unboxing of this when I brought it, but um, I thought I'd actually talk about the Star Wars Skywalker Saga 4K set. Um, now, um, there is meant to be like an outer sleeve um, type thing, but uh, obviously I've got rid of that. Um, I want to start off by saying that I'm a huge Star Wars fan. You know, this is no uh, <laughs> no um, surprise to anyone who's uh, been with me for a while. Um, and, you know, I've seen all of the Star Wars films, obviously. I've seen them many times. Um, but, you know, Star Wars always seems to get new releases all the time. And... When they said they were going to be doing a, the 4K release for all nine movies, you know, I was pretty hyped about it. Um, so, of course, um, I just want to start by saying this does not include Rogue One or Solo, but they do have 4K releases of their own. Um, this is the Skywalker Saga. So, following the nine original movies, following the stories of the Skywalkers, you know, Anakin, uh, Luke, and, of course... Uh, Ray. Um, now, um, I'll start by saying that, you know, I enjoy anything Star Wars. You know, I don't hate any Star Wars movie. I don't dislike any Star Wars movie. There are ones that I prefer and there are ones that I don't prefer as much, but I enjoy them all. And I want to start by saying that the transfers are absolutely fantastic. Um, of course, um, uh, the Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker and I think The Force Awakens did have 4K releases anyway. But um, the prequels and the originals did not have a 4K release. They've had Blu-ray releases but never had 4K releases. So this is an excellent way and I think it's the only way to get um, the originals and the first uh, the pre uh, prequels on 4K. Um, this has been re-released as a Blu-ray set and it has been re-released as a DVD set with all nine movies in a smaller packaging. Um, but this is the 4K versions. So I'm just going to open it up, show what it looks like. I did do it in the unboxing review and I'm going to talk about what's on here uh, the uh, and obviously what I enjoyed about it. So it opens up like this and it comes with a letter um, from... Luke Skywalker comes on this weird, well, Mark Hamill, but um, I've already uh, talked about this. And then you just pull it out, losing one of these tags, and it comes like this. Now, a lot of people are disappointed that this didn't have any extras. I'll be honest with you, I would have liked um, an art book or some art cards or something. But in here maybe even like a little um you know tie fighter or something you know and this has a price point of 199 pounds um i think it's gone down in price you can probably get it a lot cheaper now but brand new it was 199 i think it is out and they're still available and it come opens up like this and each um page is has some artwork um, and then the discs are fit in these little sleeves you have the 4k release on the left and on the right you have the blu-ray and of course you've got the Naboo Starfighters the attack of the clones I will say that I really like the artwork on this so there is some artwork but you know it's not the traditional art book style course uh, the revenge of the sith although i'm a bit confused because in this picture one of them has a green lightsaber but that does not happen in the movie maybe that's um from concept art of course the classic shot there with the millennium falcon for a new hope the cloud city bespin and it does say down here empire strikes back cloud city and it says who the art is by so these are all different artworks. Um, this is probably my favourite one for the Return of the Jedi. I think that artwork is, is, is fantastic. And then, uh, of course, you have uh, 
uh, the force awakened which is still pretty good i don't know how well you can see this we've got the last jedi one now which is very nice very reminiscent and the rise of skywalker one there which is very similar to the poster artwork um so you get all of the movies and then you get a bonus disc for every single um movie so each movie has its own bonus disc which is awesome so they don't just throw it all in one different bonus discs um some behind the scenes footage pictures here then revenge of the sith a new hope some uh, pictures of the models of course uh, young george lucas there and then like that so i think it's a 27 disc set all in in total um now i like i've said i've said this before many times i still don't understand why um they release dvds and Blu-rays is a single set and you know you have the DVD version and Blu-ray version um, I've, I've never understood why they do that um, maybe it's for people that want to have um, that might want the Blu-ray version but like the design of the 4k version I don't know um, it, it's just something they do um, design wise I think the design for this is, is sleek yet effective you know um, it's not overly too big, um, you know, it can fit and display nice. I will say the colour is like a matte finish um, and it is a little bit annoying because if you put your fingers on it for too long, it does sort of show. Um, I would have liked a more, uh, maybe like a, a, I don't know, maybe a glossy finish would have been nice. Um, I think it would have been nice with a sheen. I think the Death Star could have maybe had some chrome to it. Um, it does look nice, it's simplistic, um, yet, yeah, you know, ideal, and it's easy stuff, like I said, I would have liked a little bit more in here, maybe some sort of extras included, for the price point, you know, I mean, fair enough, a 4k release these days, what, cost £25, so, you know, you're getting nine movies, basically, for, for basically what the, you're paying here, and all of the bonus discs are extra, I will say, the bonus discs, are blu-ray only they're not 4k but it's better than them being dvd right isn't it so um i want to start off by saying that the transfers for each movie on 4k were fantastic um the blue the the, the darkness in space really popped especially with the spaceships um in like the empire strikes back and stuff when you see the star destroyers and you've got all the blue lights um, from the you know the engines inside the windows it really pops um you know and the lightsaber battles and the it's just beautiful i think the transfer is really well done and the same with the sound it looks really well done now i will say this i don't know if it's just my deep my blu-ray player but when i was watching them um the 4k versions and i've only noticed to do it with the 4k ones um it my, my DVD player was humming while it was playing. It didn't do it for long. Sometimes it did it and it stopped and it started and stopped. I have noticed that with some discs it will do that. Um, but I've not noticed it do it a single time with any of the Blu-ray discs on here. I only noticed it with the 4K discs. Now maybe it's just something wrong with my 4K player. Uh, I don't know. That was just something I noticed um so the transfers are fantastic I, I i think it's the best star wars has ever looked um it's very vibrant lots of darks here dark hues especially um and of course the original trilogy looked fantastic again um you know even just for the original trilogy i think people will be appreciative of how good it actually looks um now as for the bonus features like i said each disc um, movie has a single blu-ray disc with bonus features but there is a ton of um footage and behind the scenes stuff each um i've only watched the phantom menace one and i'm halfway through the attack of the clones one but from what i know each disc has it tends to have like um a couple of new new things on here i think some stuff might be exclusive to the set 
other stuff might have been released on older the older blu-ray set but there is a few things on here so you've got um some of the new stuff are like um doing like showing the uh, costumes and the sound design and interviews um with people um you know but what's awesome about this is you also have all of the legacy content so every I think 90% of the special features that have been on the previous Blu-ray release or the um, DVD releases are included on here. Um, so you get feature-length documentaries like um, The Phantom Menace had one which was a feature-length documentary um, and it was like an hour long. Um, just be aware that so with some of those feature-length documentaries on the legacy stuff, um, it is compressed a little bit and I think it's in DVD quality but it is on Blu-ray um, but the good news is they all are Blu-ray discs for the, um, the, the the legacy content as well um, they have just so many cool things it's not just you know about the behind the scenes and how the movie was made but like how they were working with the digital content how they made the puppets into digital characters how the CGI worked you know interviews and behind the scenes footage like uh the casting of the young anakin skywalker and seeing like um you know you and mcgregor and mcgregor getting his hair cut and, and things like that um this is a must-have for any star wars saying in my opinion now i've heard mixed reviews some people felt felt like the price point was a bit too high um i personally think it it, it wasn't for me personally, maybe it was higher in the US, but £200 for, you know, nine 4Ks is, is, is a decent price anyway, considering some of those movies haven't had 4K releases, let alone even standalone 4K releases. Um, but the bonus features are just fantastic. And Star Wars has always done a great job with bonus features. Um I think if you're a fan of Star Wars, you'll appreciate all of the hard work that went into making these movies. Even if you don't like, uh, you know, like The Phantom Menace or the sequels or the prequels, I still think you can appreciate just how much work and effort went into making this. Um, like I said, I, I think this is an excellent box set. Um, and it's quite heavy as well. It's got a bit of weight to it. It don't feel cheap in any way. Like I said, there is a few things that can be quite annoying when you open it up. That can happen. And sometimes when you're pulling this, it doesn't come out all the way. Um, like I said, I would have liked maybe some art cards or some sort of um, bonus stuff. Maybe a, you know, like a, I don't know. Something else would have been nice. Um, Design-wise, I, I think it, it, it's pretty well um but but the for the for the bang for your buck you definitely get um your bang for your buck the transfers are excellent and the bonus features are just fantastic um all in all i think the star wars skywalker 4k release is an excellent um addition to the collection and of course it's, i'm not going to be getting rid of this anytime soon i don't think i'll ever get rid of it a because um uh, i've got all of the movies ready to watch whenever i want and B, because this was one of the first things that I brought after my mum passed away and she left me some money. And this was the first thing I brought with the 4K player. So it has a lot of meaning to me um, as well. So um, all in all, I think this is a must have for any person. Um, I, I, I really enjoy it. I think it's a, a great set and I'm really enjoying watching the special features. But there we go, guys. So I just thought I'd do a short video. Um, there for you guys um i've got a few more reviews and things to do um tonight i'm going to play something on the ps2 i haven't decided what i'm going to play because i don't really go on the, on for too long i normally play for about an hour or so so i might try out um a couple of things that uh, uh just play a game for a bit and then tonight i'm going to watch a movie on uh, amazon prime i think i'm going to watch a movie called challenger which is a an old shore scope movie i think a kung fu type movie i'm in the mood to watch that last night i watched um a bit, a bit of a tv show called yes minister um it's an old british comedy i i, I admit i i don't think it's as good as some of the other stuff that i've watched on britbox um but it was okay you know i think i'll definitely finish watching it. it's not a long show at all but i couldn't 
really say it was, I, I couldn't compare it to something like Black Adder or Only Fools or Faulty Cowards, which in my opinion are the best BBC comedies. Um, but it was okay, you know, maybe I'll watch more. So I'm going to watch a Prime movie tonight as well. And then I'll probably watch a couple of episodes of Two and a Half Men. Um, I've sold a few things as well today. Um, so I hopefully get a bit of money tomorrow, but obviously I've got to use that to get a few bits. Um, but we will be going out on Thursday, so there should be a bit of a pickup video on Thursday. Um, might not be a lot, but it'll probably be like charity stuff from charity shops. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if, if you did, feel free to leave a like. Let me know in the comments below, do you have the Skywalker 4K Saga Um set and uh what, what is your favorite star wars movie mine is the empire strikes back um i still think that's the best one of all time um but i i like all star wars you know i i i know i'll admit the pre the sequels have actually grown on me at first i wasn't really a big fan but after re-watching them i i thought they were pretty good you know um not perfect but they were they were still pretty decent you know i think a lot of people hate on something that's new um you know like if they were to do a new godfather movie i think people go crazy about it you know so um i think too many people have too much nostalgia and and they let nostalgia blind them sometimes and go well maybe the um the originals are fantastic of course but we we don't give the new one a chance i keep an open mind to most things and star wars for me is Star Wars, you know, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll excuse the uh, the holiday specials. <laughs> that that is different. That 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 is um, notoriously bad. Um, but um, and as always, guys, uh, subscribe if you haven't already and join the family. Um, just seeing if it's raining. I don't think it is. I'm gonna. I don't think it's raining too heavy. I'm gonna have a little quick walk before I come back and um, uh, have my uh, tidy up and stuff. But yeah, um, I haven't decided what I'm going to play on the PS2 tonight. Um, I might try out that downhill domination, give that game a go. I've heard good things about it. But as always, guys, uh, have a nice day and follow me on Twitter and Instagram the Mad Tiger. And I will see you in a week with some new videos. Take care and bye bye.